Hi, this is George Cow. So in this short video, I want to I want to encourage you to reframe discipline not as contracting but as expanding something truly good. So what I mean by this is that a lot of people when they think about discipline, they think that they are contracting, they are decreasing their abundance, they are decreasing their happiness, they're they're becoming smaller rather than so-called play a bigger game, right? And I, um, I want to challenge that, fal that, that, that myth because it is a myth. I mean, because if you look at the American dream um, of continued expansion, always buying more stuff, right? Always uh, expanding your power and, and making more money and um, you know, buying a bigger house, you know, bigger cars, etc. It's become, the American dream has become the planet's nightmare because of all the resources that have been used in trying to prop up the American lifestyle. And so our desires for expansion are not always the wisest. And we need to be more aware of how we choose wiser wants. Um, and so uh, instead of thinking of contracting, think of expanding your inner joy. Okay, so let me give you three real examples from my life. One example is that I've discovered that it's, it's easy for me to lose weight or keep my weight down if I have a really, really small lunch. Uh, I'm talking literally um, one egg or one spoon full of peanut butter as a lunch if I need to be losing weight or something like that and um, you know typically you, one might think oh George that's so sad you have to you have to contract you have to eat less lunch but instead I've reframed it as oh I get to expand the time and space that my digestive system gets to rest to recuperate to prepare for a uh, big dinner because no matter how much I eat breakfast or dinner as long as I eat a small or minimal lunch I can lose weight it's it, I just that's what I've discovered about my body second example is um, I live in America where the culture is as I mentioned consumerism always buying more bu purchasing equals happiness right here in America and like I said it's wrought environmental destruction on the world um, but instead of buying instead of thinking about buying less and that feels like contracting I'm I'm enjoying less of a freedom lifestyle or whatever I reframe it as expanding my appreciation for what I currently own already and also expanding my creativity for how to enjoy and to be grateful for what I already do have in my life you see instead of contracting we're expanding what is true which is the inner joy and our connection to our divine source. Now, a third example is that um, I used to, uh, in my first five years of my business, I'm in my seventh year now, first, um, especially first four years of my business, I made a lot of money, a lot more than most solopreneurs. But guess what? I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. And um, this is, by the way, a, a dirty secret of a lot of six-figure, seven-figure entrepreneurs. There's a lot of stress uh, going on and a lot of people feel trapped by their ever-expanding businesses and feeling the peer pressure to always keep up with making the next level of income, etc. And I, I wasn't happy when I was making all that money. Um, and I had an awakening a few years ago and started transforming my business and my lifestyle. And now, even though I make a lot less money right now, I'm way happier than before. And so instead of, instead of thinking I'm contracting by making less money, you know what I think? I'm expanding how much I can freely give. Because I used to make a ton of money selling content, right? Selling my trainings and courses and videos and, and, and you know, um, uh, 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 you know works workshops and templates and things. And now I give away all my content. I give away all my content. So I've expanded what I can freely give. And by the way, I'm less obligated as well. 
there's less obligation, right, when I'm giving things away for free instead of charging for them. And so, uh, anyway, I hope these examples are helpful. So basically, the bottom line again is to remember to reframe discipline, not as contracting your soul's expression, but in fact, it's expanding your connection to your soul with a capital S. You're expanding your connection with your divine source, your inner happiness. The, the more you are able to decrease, and my little dog is running crazy, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> the more you're able to decrease your, your dependence on external motivations, external things um, to make you happy on the inside, uh, the, the better off you'll be, the, hap the truly deeply hap happy you'll be. And so that's what we need to, we need to contract our unwise wants and unwise desires and expand our wiser wants and wiser desires, our creativity and our appreciation. Until the next video, I wish you well.